Perspectives is an exhibition of photojournalism and the reason I wanted it here during the Olympics and the Paralympics is just to remind people that around the world there are many nations uh, who don't have access to clean water or medicine or human rights. Uh, the Olympic motto is faster, higher, stronger. Many people in the world don't have the opportunity to run fast, jump high or be strong. And I just want to remind people who come and visit about that fact. This photograph is from uh, the siege of Sarajevo. I, I spent four years documenting the siege. And uh, one day I was working in a particularly dangerous area and this uh, amazing woman came walking along. Uh, I love the image. She looks so proud and defiant. And, and obviously looks a little bit like Sophia Loren as well. Uh, only recently I went back to Sarajevo and spent two days with her. She still looks amazing. The, picture, the pictures here um, are very important to me. You know, I've, I've spent a long time uh, working in areas around the world. and At a time when so many people are in London, I felt it was uh, a great opportunity to put the imagery in front of the public. I was lucky enough to be on the Berlin Wall on November the 9th, 1989, when it, it first opened. It was an amazing time. Millions of people uh, crossed from east to west. The next morning on the 10th, uh, crowds of people attacked the wall with sledgehammers and crowbars. And I particularly like this because this was the first section that was torn down. And it signifies, you know, the beginning of freedom for millions of people. And here's that first section of the Berlin Wall literally being pushed down by the hands of hundreds of demonstrators. It was an amazingly historical moment and I was so lucky to be there to photograph it. The job of a photojournalist is to tell stories in images. Sometimes the stories are not very happy ones, like this one, a terrible event. The Lockerbie air disaster when 300 people, over 300 people died on a terrorist outrage. But not every story we go on is like that. Here we have the election of Nelson Mandela. What an amazing time that was, the election of the first black president in South Africa's history. What a privilege it was to document this man for six weeks and see the adulation of his people. And these are my latest images. A few weeks ago, I was in the Jaman refugee camp in South Sudan, working for the International Committee of the Red Cross. There's a terrible water shortage there. And uh, here's a scene at dawn where people have lined up their water containers waiting for the, the day's delivery. Of course, what happens is the strongest prevail. Fights break out and the weakest people are pushed to the edges. The children then have to go and dig for five uh, feet, six feet down amongst the bees and snakes to collect the filthy water that the family can use that day. Powerful photographs can be used in many different ways. The black and white images you see on the walls have been shot for magazines and newspapers on international news events. This color image was shot specifically for the International Committee of the Red Cross in Geneva. They're running a very important campaign to try and stop attacks on healthcare workers trying to give aid in conflict situations. It's an important thing and I'm, I'm very proud to be part of it.